Hi, and welcome to STA 2023 Elementary Statistics Online. Please read through this orientation page and the syllabus over here um, for details relating to the course structure, expectations, and suggestions on how to succeed in this class. In this orientation video, I'll be walking you through the navigation of this course. Once you've completed watching this orientation video and reading the syllabus, please complete the orientation quiz. You must complete this quiz by the end of the first week of the term or you will be withdrawn from the class. At the bottom of each week's lessons, you will see a next button. The next button on the bottom of this page brings you to the orientation quiz. Click uh, start quiz or resume quiz to begin the quiz. At any time, you can click the home or the syllabus button um, on the left to bring you back to the home page. From this page, if you scroll down, you can quickly access each week's lessons over here. Alternatively, if you left a lesson before completing it, you can jump right to where you left off by clicking on the modules menu button over here. Um, I will demonstrate this in a few, in a few minutes. On the right, once the term starts, you'll see um, a list of upcoming tasks and a calendar. On the bottom, there is a list of graded tasks. However, I recommend that you ignore this section as they're not organized in a logical order and you'll be skipping the lessons required to understand these assignments. Let's start off by exploring week one. When I click on week one, you can see a quick summary of the tasks to be completed during this week. Objectives, so you know what skills you should be learning during the lesson. And then the lesson videos. These video lessons will help prepare you for exams, projects, and homework. You may wish to take short notes during these lessons in your notebook so you don't forget important concepts. The PowerPoint slides that were used to make these videos are posted on the home page if, if you prefer to take notes that way. After you've finished watching the video lessons, you can take the short lesson quiz. These quizzes can be taken multiple times and should prepare you for the homework assignment. Each lesson goes right into the next. However, you can stop at any time uh, and pick up where you left off by going through the links at the home page or through the modules. By clicking on modules on the left, you can jump to any lesson or activity, allowing you to pick up where you left off or some other point if you'd like to repeat an, um, an exercise already done or peek ahead. As you can see, some weeks have projects assigned and most weeks contain a direct leak uh, a direct link to the MyStatLab uh, homework. However, I recommend that you actually use the MyLab and Mastering link instead since it provides full access to all the features of the MyStatLab program. To register for MyStatLab, click on MyLab and Mastering on the left navigation ribbon. If this link doesn't work, um, or the link to my stat lab course home doesn't work to bring you to the actual course itself, I recommend that you disable your pop-up blocker or try a different web browser. Um, that's usually the problem. So the first time you click on this, it'll bring you to a license agreement, and I'm sure you're going to read that very carefully. Click I accept. and it'll bring you into the course. Before you can begin, you have to enter in your username and password if you already have a Pearson account, so you've already used my lab in another course like my math lab or my econ lab, or you can create a Pearson account if you don't have one already. If you click create an account, make sure that you create it using an email address that you actually use, preferably your regular school email address. So I already have an account, so I'm just going to log into it.
at this point, I'm brought to three options. Um, if I purchased a code, or if you purchased a code through the bookstore, you already have an access code to my stat lab that hasn't been used for another class, um, you can enter in the access code here. If you haven't already purchased an access code, you can purchase it over here. And then this price changes from semester to semester, um, so yours could be more or less than this. Um, now, if you're not sure if this class is right for you or you just haven't purchased the code yet, you actually have a 14-day grace period, and you can get temporary access without payment for those 14 days. So I'm just going to start off by clicking here. And it'll bring up a reminder later that you do need to pay, so don't worry about using this option for now. You can print your receipt, or you can go to, uh, go to my courses to start this off. So this brings me to the MyStatLab course homepage. Um, there's usually some pop-up that announces some release. Um, you can just continue the course and maybe click never show this again or else it's going to keep popping up. Um, there's several features in here. One of the features is the e-textbook. There is a textbook associated with this course. Um, it's a first course in statistics by McClave and Sinchuk. However, you don't need a physical copy of the book because you can access the full textbook um, just by clicking on e-text. There's other features as well, including um, a StatCrunch software, which I'll show you in a few minutes. Um, you can jump to individual chapter contents here. Um, there's multimedia that you can view, some videos and applets. Um, mostly, though, for this class, you're just going to be using the e-text, maybe StatCrunch, and the homework. So each week's homework is displayed, and it's organized by the same weeks that are in the class. Um, in here, it includes which sections of the textbook that you should be looking in if you wanted to consult the textbook. Just to start off, let me uh, just show you what week two looks like. Um, of course, it usually makes sense to start at the first homework question and just work your way through. But I'll start at question number 12 just to show you some features of my stat lab. And again, make sure your pop-up blocker is disabled or a lot of these things will not work. In this question, there are several features. Um, this question just shows how to calculate the mean, or ask you to calculate the mean, median, and mode for a data set. You might be familiar with those terms already, but if not, the video lessons will show you. This is a pretty straightforward question to calculate. However, if you need some help, um, there's several options here, including help me solve this, which is like step-by-step -step showing you how to solve it. After you click that, and I've already clicked this um, in another take of this video, um, it will mark it as wrong, but you can keep redoing questions until you get it right, so don't worry about it being temporarily marked wrong. Um, you can also view an example, which will show different data, but show you how to work a very similar question. Um, there's also a feature called Ask My Instructor, which will allow you to send me an email, um, which includes a direct link to your version of this question, so I can actually help you solve your homework question if you need. However, this is why it's so important for you to put the correct email address when registering for my stat lab, because whatever email address you put down is the email address that I will reply to. Um, so just be aware of that. Make sure you have the right email address. Um, other features include you can access the textbook. However, I wouldn't recommend using this link of the textbook as your main source of accessing the textbook. Since this question is from Section 2.3, it'll only show me Section 2.3 of the textbook. So if you want the full textbook, you have to actually um, click on the main link for the textbook. Um, also is the StatCrunch software. Um, you can click StatCrunch and it will open up the StatCrunch program and there's nothing in here right now so you can enter in information and use some of these features. However, a better way to access StatCrunch actually is to click this little box over here. So most problems that have data or information will have this uh, click to copy table option. So I'm going to click that and it brings up a few options. One is to open this in StatCrunch, which is a statistical software package that will allow you to analyze data. 
um, copy it to clipboards. So this can allow you to copy into any program you wish or to open up the data in Excel, which again is another useful program that will do most of the calculations you'll want to do in the class um, and the graphs. So StackCrunch or Excel could be used for almost everything in the class. So let me use StackCrunch since I'm sure that's a software that you're not quite familiar with yet. Um, it's fairly simple to use um, after you just get a hang of like where to click. So here's the data. Notice that this is the same data set, 2019-13, uh, 2019-13. Um, so it, it shows the same data that's over there. Um, if I click on stat, there's an option called summary statistics, which will allow me to find like the sample size, the mean, the median, the mode, something called the standard deviation, all kinds of cool things. Percentiles you might be familiar with. Um, my data is arranged in a column, so I'm going to click Columns. Um, just select whatever variable you want to look at. If you had more than one variable, you could select more than one by clicking uh, Control and then clicking. Um, I want to include my mean, my median, and I'm holding Control before clicking to select more than one option, and my mode. So these are the things I want to include. There are some other options down here, but I'm not going to use them for this question. And then I'll click Compute. So you see here that the first variable, the only variable, has a mean of 15.2 approximately, a median of 15, and a mode of 13. So I can answer this question, or answer parts of this question using, um, using these answers. So let's try this. I want to round uh, the mean to two decimal places. So 15.181 would round to 15.18. Make sure you do round correctly. The, I forgot the number, the median was 15 and the mode was 13. And I can just hit, oops, typed in the wrong number. Um, let's try this again. The median was 15, so I just can click enter or check my answer. And then the mode was 13. So I just type that in, check answer. And then I'll say that I did it correctly and I can move on to the next question or not. It's up to you. Um, and it will put a check mark here once you get the question correctly. And again, you can keep on working on these until you get them right. You can jump to any question you want by clicking here or you can get to the next question or the previous question by clicking the arrows on the right or left. Um, there's no submitting of the homework. Once you do a question, it automatically will update that you did the question. It may not automatically update in um, on Canvas right away. I might have to manually do that. Uh, they're working on getting that feature working properly, so the grades are automatically updated. But at least once a week, they'll be updated on Canvas for you. Um, I'll click save. Okay. Um, and, uh, that's the basic idea of my stat lab. Now let's go back to the course. Since it opens it up in a new window, I can just go over here to go back to the course. And even though this looks like it's the, my stat lab window, it's just, um, a frame inside the class. So you can still access any part of the class. You can get back to the main page by clicking syllabus if you like. You can also click this option called Grades. You can view your grades on each activity by clicking on Grades. Since most activities and homework can be redone until you receive full credit, checking your grades will be useful throughout the term to ensure success. Um, one quick warning is your grade is out of a thousand points, but if you look down here it says it's out of zero. To fix this, if you just want to see like where you stand right now, if you stop showing up to the class right now, um, click uncheck this box where it says calculate based on graded assignments only. And so this will give you an honest answer of like what your current grade is. I know it says 1001 right now. In fact, in your semester, it might say something even slightly different than that. Your grade is out of a thousand points though, unless something has changed in the syllabus. Um, that's just some extra credit built in there. Another menu option on the left is Discussions. You can click this link to post in the discussions, view new posts, or communicate with your classmates in this general discussions um, link. 
thank you for going through this orientation. Make sure you complete that orientation quiz. Um, it's very important. And, um, and then start your week one and register for my stat lab and do all that other good stuff to make sure you start off on a good track. If you have any questions or concerns or comments, just send me an email, send me a message. You can send me a message using this inbox feature and it will include the course title and so I'll know which class you're from. And um, just have a wonderful semester.